Hello and welcome to the Filmmakers Club. I am so happy that you are here today because I know that what you're going to learn today in the basics of video editing production could set you off on an incredible adventure in life and creativity and fun. We're going to learn four things today. We're going to learn how to get your footage onto a timeline and chop it up and add some of your creativity into the mix. We're going to put some music underneath that footage, add some text on top of it. We're going to layer a little bit of footage too. And then we're going to export that creation of yours out into the big wide world because you've got an audience, you've got a voice and it needs to be heard. Now, my name is Tom. I have been a film producer for about 15 years and my job has literally taken me all across the world. And I've had some incredible journeys, incredible experiences and met some brilliant, incredible, awesome friends through it. And that's why I'm excited for you today. So we're going to get straight to it. Uh, I'm going to make a little bit of content now for you to be able to learn from. And to do that, I can't stay as Tom, I'm afraid. I need to have a disguise. And so my name is Mr. Zob and I own a zoo. Okay, so here we go. We are going to teach you how to do the very basics of editing today. Uh, we're going to be using a program called Kinemaster, um, which you can get on Android and uh, Apple. Uh, I'm editing on an iPad because I'm an old geezer, so I need a bigger device to be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, you, obviously, you can edit on a phone, and I'm sure that you will be able to quickly pick up how to do this. Um, what we're going to be using today is the footage that I filmed of me pretending to be Mr. Zob. So I've made a, a pretend advert for Mr. Zob's magnificent zoo and uh, I filmed uh, a talking head of me talking to the camera, inviting you to the zoo. I filmed some animals popping up on screen so you can illustrate what I'm talking about and I've done a little bit of graphics on there. Right, um, so the first thing to do is the footage that I've sent you, you need to get into your Photos app. So if I show you here, this is all my clips that I have filmed. Um, now, if, if you don't know how to get stuff into your Photos app, I usually stick it on my computer and then airdrop it over to my device. That's on Apple, obviously. Um, if you can't get the footage that I've sent onto your device, then I suggest you go away and film some stuff of your own. So uh, do some talking heads, film some nature, whatever you want to do. Um, but for the purpose of this lesson, I'm going to use the footage that I created for this lesson. Okay, so let's go back to Kinemaster. I'm going to click on this icon here to start a new project. And uh, aspect ratio, we're going to click this one over here. Basically, it's that way or that way or a square. But we're going to go with this one because that's the way I have filmed it. Okay, quick rundown of what you're looking at here. You've got a few windows here. <clears throat> this is your preview window where you can look at all the stuff that you want to suck into your project. This is your timeline down here where you do your editing. Um, down your side, you've got a few basic editing things. And this is like your control center up here. Um, so what we're going to start off with is we're going to look for that footage that I filmed on my iPhone. I've got in my photos app um, on Android. You'll have something different, but you'll have a photos area, right? So um, I've put mine in a little folder here um, just to help me organize stuff. Um, but if you click on all, you'll be able to see all your footage. So I'm going to go here. Uh, so this is my advert. Uh, we can see that. Uh, there we go. We can scroll along. You can kind of pinch zoom to pinch out. And then once you, uh, you've got your base uh, footage, click on this tick up here. And there we go. We have it on the timeline. So I can press play here. And you should. Hello. My name is Mr. Zorb, and I would love to invite you to come and visit Mr. Zorb's most magnificent zoo. Okay, so that's me being silly, creating my own advert to invite you to be a zoo. I recommend you have fun with this. Uh, it's not your editing and video production is about having fun. You don't want to do boring stuff. You want to send it out to your friends and family, and you want them to be entertained. Now, when I was filming this, I made a couple of mistakes. So I'm going to find those mistakes. I, I, I basically introduced a series of animals and uh, on a couple of the animals, I just fluffed up my lines a little bit as I was reading the script. So let's go and find those. I think it's around about here. A lovable and cuddly bear. He used to be an actor in a rather famous film. Madman Mo, a rather cheeky monkey. 
Let him there we go, okay, so I made a mistake. So let's zoom in a little bit, uh, just by pinching there. He's a fuzzy, a lovable and cuddly bear. He used to be an actor in a rather famous film. Ma okay, so Madman Mo is where I want to edit. So what you've got here is if you click on that clip, you've got some simple editing functions down the right hand side and the left hand side. You've also got something up here which uh, gives you loads of tools to play with your footage. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one here and what that does is that will chop the clip in half right where I, I want to make my edit. So, uh, and then we click the tick there and then we play and I want to find where I actually say the right words. So let's uh, see what I flipped up. Madman Mo, a rather cheeky monkey. Don't let him tick, tick, tick. Madman a rather cheeky monkey. Don't let them took it. Okay, so that I, I know I made two mistakes on that. So we're going to click on this one here. I'm going to make another cut there. Click on this tick up here, and then I need to get rid of that clip because that's all my mistakes. So over here you have a delete icon. Click on that, and what it does is it sucks those two correct filmed clips together. And if we press play here, he used to be an actor in a rather famous film. Madman Mo, a rather cheeky monkey. Don't let him. Okay, so that's good. Now I probably could trim that a tiny bit. Let's just uh, click on here, and you see this little three, four dots there. Uh, if you just pull that this way, touch that, just trim edits a bit. Click on the tick, and let's watch that edit again. Film. Madman Mo, yeah, a rather that's cheeky good monkey. Don't let him get too close. He'll nick stuff off you. Susie Swiper, our baby leopard club. There we go, so I made another mistake. Right, so I'm gonna edit this one as well. So Doozy Swiper. Okay, and that's I need to basically have to madman mo, isn't it? Don't let him get too close, he'll nick stuff off you. Alright, so we're gonna press pause there and we're gonna select the clip that I want to edit. Gonna click this, chops it in the middle, and then I just wanna uh, tick that box there, press play. Suzy Swiper, ah baby leopard club. Okay, that's my mistake. Let's find out where I come back in correctly. Susie Swiper. Oh yeah, that's it. Uh, Susie. Okay. Let's find the end of my mistake. Leopard Club. Okay, so there we go. It's about there. Click the edit. Print tick. Get rid of that rubbish bit. And let's check my edit. Too close. He'll nick stuff off you. Susie Swiper. All right, there we go. So I, I made two mistakes while I was filming this. I'm just going to pinch zoom out and you can see the whole clip. And, and often when you're filming, you do make mistakes or you need to change stuff. Um, that's just a very simple, let's chop stuff up and get stuff out of the timeline. Okay, so just to reiterate that process is um, when you want to chop some stuff out, several ways to do it. We'll go over that in future, but the simplest way to do it is select the clip you want to do. Stick a chop in the middle, press tick, and delete the clip you don't want. Now I just uh, delete something I do want, so I'm just going to press back here. And that's the beauty of these editing programs, you can press back a couple of times, and all of your editing mistakes will be fixed again, and you can do it again. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add some footage and some graphics over the top of this advert, so it's a little bit boring me just talking to camera. Uh, later on we're going to add some music and some text, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some graphics. So, rather than clicking media this time, we click on layer, uh, and then you click on uh, media. So we want to put some stuff on top of this clip here. So let's click media, let's go to my filmmakers club, uh, and I, in, in this application you can click photos and video down the bottom here. So I'm going to click photos, I've got my filmmaker clubs, and these are two JPEGs or two graphics. And the one I'm looking for here is Mr. Zob's Magnificent Zoo graphic. So I'm going to stick that on. Now this is a little bit smaller than the video, so all you do is you pull that arrow down there and you scale it up. And what you can see down here, if I look on, if you go look at this timeline down here, you can see where that is. Let's just press that tick there. You can see where that graphic is coming over the top of what I'm talking. So what we need to do now is we just need to line up where that graphic appears. And to do that, we're going to have to listen back to what I say. Hello, my name is Mr. Zob, and I would love to invite you to come. Okay, so 
Okay, so to come and visit, I just need to move that on along a little bit. So you click and just drag, line it up where you want it to go. Press play. Mr. Sobs, most magnificent zoo. It may be small. Okay, so we need to come out where I say it may be small. So to do that, again, I showed you before, you can trim it. And I think I just need to trim that that way a little bit. So let's just click on the tick and play that. Invite you to come and visit Mr. Zobs. Okay, I probably want to come in where I say Mr. Zobs. So that's around about there, isn't it? Okay, I'll tick up there. Let's watch that back now. We would love to invite you to come and visit Mr. Zobs. Most magnificent zoo. It may be small. There we go. Perfect. All right. So I have got that graphic exactly where I want it on my timeline now. Now the next thing I want to do is I filmed a bunch of uh, cuddly animals coming up on screen when I introduced them. So I've got Surf to Taz first. So let's play the rest of my advert. Incredible. We have got. Okay. So as soon as I say we have got. Okay. Surf to Taz I'm about to say there. So I'm going to. Press pause on the timeline there. I'm going to click on layer again. I'm going to add media. This time I'm going to add my video rather than photos. So let's go to my filmmakers club. Now what I need to do is I need to find the right clip. So if I hold down there, you can press play. There we go. Surf Dude Taz, he pops up there. Um, there we go. So we click add up here. Or if I just go back a bit, if you know what clip it is, so we'll, which one? let's go back into media, filmmakers club. Now it's this one, isn't it? So I'll click on that, click on add, and there you go. And let's just size that up again. Drag that corner where the arrows are and click tick. And let's see how that looks, shall we? We have got Surf Do Taz, our turtle that just loves to surf. Okay, now there's a couple of things you'll notice on that. While I was filming this footage, I was getting my youngest or middle daughter, uh, Jules, to read out the script to me so I knew how long to have the turtle on screen. Obviously, we don't want the audio over the top of what Mr. Zob is saying. So, what we're going to do to get rid of that is we're going to click on that. As you click on that, you can see all of these things pop up here. Now, the one we're looking for is Mixer. Tap on Mixer and then literally just mute that clip. All that's going to do is mute the one that's highlighted in yellow. Press tick, and if we play that back, Utaz, our turtle that you can no longer hear my daughter talking on that video clip. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I just want to trim this a little bit, because I don't, I want, uh, I want Mr. Turtle here. Let's go, it's a little bit fiddly, but you get the hang of it. You can, obviously, I'm using an Apple Pencil, but you can use your fingers for this. You don't have to have an Apple Pencil. Uh, let's press tick there. And there we go, it pops up. Right, so let's line that up with uh, what I'm saying. Surf okay, Surf Dude Taz is about there. At 15 seconds, let's move that clip along there. And let's see how that looks. We have got... Surf do Taz, our turtle that just loves to surf, Mr. Okay, great. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to add one more clip just to so you can learn what to do, and then I'll uh, zoom through the rest, and uh, you can have a play of doing that. So I'm just going to trim that a little bit because the next animal needs to come in here, and the next animal we've got is Mr. Fuzzy. Uh, Mr. Fuzzy. Yeah, there we go. Right. So let's get the time. This red line is where you are on the timeline. So let's click on layer, media, uh, filmmakers club. That's where all my content is. Now it should be this next clip. Mr. Fuzzy is actually below the bear. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's press pause. Pause off there and then add that to my timeline. Okay, there we go. And we're just gonna scale it up a bit. And then we're just going to trim that to start when he pops up on screen. There we go, that's where he pops up on screen. So you can do this really slowly. And then click tick. And then I can move this on my timeline. So let's see how that looks. Let's play that back. Loves to surf. Mr. Fuzzy, a lovable and cuddly bear. He used to be an actor in a rather famous film. Okay, so again, uh, you can hear my daughter talking on top, so we're going to click on that, click on Mixer, 
gonna click on mute, click on tick, and this is where it needs to come out. There we go. So let's watch those two back together. We have got Surf Do Taz, our turtle that just loves to surf. Mr. Fuzzy, our lovable and cuddly bear. He used to be an actor in a rather famous film. Ma Great, okay, right, so I am gonna whiz through the rest. Uh, why don't you have a play with uh, either the footage that I've sent you or your own footage and start just playing about how to uh, add footage on top on the timeline by using this layer thing and then adding media, how to trim it, how to get rid of audio, um, and uh, we're good to go. All right, right, I'm gonna zoom through the rest now. Alrighty, let's moving on to uh, adding music. Music is super essential to filmmaking and storytelling. Um, as I'm sure you will know from watching stuff on YouTube or TV or whatever you want to do. So we're going to, um, Kinemaster has its own kind of music library that you can use. Um, you know, I'm, I'm subscribed to Kinemaster, you know, the £3.50 a month thing. And uh, if you click on audio here and then click on this like shop icon up here, what pops up, uh, you need to be connected to the internet at this to be able to see all this, but what pops up is all these songs, which you can literally play uh, and, and what I'm going to do is I found a track which I think works pretty good with this one and uh, it's called Old Town. So well, if you go to the, the shop area, look at all the music and scroll down to use Old Town. Now I clicked download, I've got mine downloaded already. Let me just click um, download on another one. There you go, hey what, let's click download. Um, but what we're going to be using is Old Town. If you want to use another one, feel free, go ahead. Uh, once you press download, click on cross, and then let's click in our music edits. And there we go. Those are the two that I've just downloaded, Old Town and Hey What. So tap on Old Town. You can listen to it. A little jolly tune there. Um, and then we'll click on plus, and what that'll do is that'll drop that down onto the timeline. There we go. So we have now, click that tick up there, We've got music underneath our advert. Now, I'm pretty certain this is going to be too loud, but let's have a listen. Hello, my name is Mr. Zorg. I would love to invite you to come and visit. Okay, so obviously it's, it's a great track, super bouncy, but it is too loud at the moment. So similar to how we edited the video clips, we're going to click on the music track, which is this one with all the little lines down here. Click on that, and then we're going to click on the mixer. And this is your audio level on this left hand side here. So I'm going to drag that down to around about 26%. Click on tick and I'm going to listen back to how that sounds. And the key thing with music and adding music to your videos is you need to be able to hear what you need to be able to hear. Now the most important thing in this advert is what I'm saying because I'm doing an advert and people need to hear what I'm saying about the advert. So let's have a listen if you can hear my voice over the top of the music. Hello, my name is Mr. Zorb, and I would love to invite you to come and visit Mr. Zorb's most magnificent zoo. It may be small. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. Uh, you could probably tweak it a little bit higher. Let's just go up a tiny bit, maybe to 30%. Let's have a listen to that. Small, but it is incredible. We have got... Yeah, you can still hear me. So let's let's go around 30%. Now, just on the music front, obviously there's so much we can do with editing and, you know, quite often I will... Uh, sometimes I get people to compose music for me. You know, you can make your own music. You can find stuff from your iTunes library. Um, uh, you, know, you can basically get a lot of music from everywhere. But what we're doing for the basics of this lesson is we're just going to use what Kinemaster gives you. Uh, because I want to get you started quickly and as, as, as we progress together I'll show you how to add other types of music. Um, so now we have got music underneath the whole advert, you can see it stops there. If we just scroll to the end... Family Adventure! www.zorbsmagnificentzoo.com Okay, and that adds, ends quite nicely doesn't it? It's a nice douche on the end. Okay, so that is really simply how to add music. You go to your audio thing, you um, click on shop, you download, find a track you like, click download, um, and then you are in your music assets, which is everything that you've got on your device. Uh, and then once you find a track you like, 
click on plus and that will put it on your timeline and you can start playing around with it and seeing how it listens. All right, pretty simple, hey? So we are moving on to the next part of our lesson and we are gonna add text on top of the video. Now for this video, what I want to do is I wanna put the animals' names on top of the screen as they come up each individually. Now it's a very similar process to how we added this extra kind of B-roll uh, clips of the animals. You uh, click on layer just here and instead of clicking media this time, you go down three and we look at text and straight away you get a box which allows you to type what you want to type. So I am going to type in here, surf dude Taz, which is the name of the first animal. Let's click tick there. And you can see that's put it uh, here. I'm going to scale it up a little bit because I want the text a little bit quicker. I'm going to move it down a bit. Uh, and we click the tick box here. And here we go. If I just zoom into the timeline here, you can see surf dude tax Taz. <laughs> and you can move this along the timeline to appear wherever you want. So this is the, um, obviously this is Taz here, so it needs to come up somewhere around here. So let's have a press play. Surf do Taz. Okay, so that comes a little bit on screen before he comes up. So I'm just gonna trim that touch to appear as he comes on screen, which is about there. Let's click the tick and there we go. That's coming on screen. Now, it's pretty boring text at the moment, isn't it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap that. And again, you get these options up here. Um, so we're gonna change the font. Let's go with, let's just, that's a little bit bolder. And we're gonna change the color um, to something a bit bolder too. Let's go orange and press tick. And as you know, it's not very readable, is it? Uh, let's try blue and tick up here. Uh, still not very readable. How about a green? All right, that'll do. Uh, and then tick again up here. Basically, you have to, in this program, keep pressing the ticks until you can play stuff again. All right, so let's look at the timeline again and watch that back. Surf do Taz, our turtle that just loves to surf. Mr. Per okay, great. Okay, so we've added our first bit of text to the video. I just need to trim that a tiny bit because that appeared over the top of the next character, which we don't really want, do we? We want, so there you go. There's the new footage coming in here of, uh, what's his name, Mr. Fuzzy, our lovable bear. Now, um, you can obviously go in here and you can pick whatever your font you've got. Uh, those are all the fonts I've got. Um, you know, so we could change it to Rockwell Bold, click on tick, and we've got a different font there. Click tick again, and we've changed it. So be creative with your colors and your fonts. Okay, so, what we're going to do now is we're going to add the text to all the other animals. Now this is a little time-saving trick for you. So if you click on the surf to Taz uh, text element, up here you've got these three dots. Now if you click up here, there's something called duplicate, which is awesome. So if we duplicate that, it is doubled up the layers here, but it just saves you having to go through the whole add layer, add text, change the font, move it down, get it in the right position, all that kind of thing. So if we now move this second surf to Taz over the top of uh, Mr. Fuzzy, our lovable bear, and we just line up with his footage. Uh, what you can do now is if you click on this little keyboard thing, it allows you to change that text. So let's put Mr. Fuzzy and click on the tick. And it's kind of overlapping a little bit there, so let's just change that. There you go, it's dropped into place and click the tick. And there we go, so dude, Taz has got his title. And then Mr. Fuzzy comes up now. Should we move that a little bit? So it comes up as he pops on, on screen. There we go, Mr. Fuzzy. Right, I am just gonna change the color of that, see if we can pick another color. Let's go, let's try orange for Mr. Fuzzy. Yeah, that works pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, uh, so I have added text over the top of that one and then just adjust that a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to whiz through putting the text on top of all of the other creatures in the zoo um, and you can have a play at adding text to your video. Okay. 
All right, so we are on to the final part of your first video editing basics lesson, and that is exporting your project. Now, this is what I always recommend, because when you're editing, you kind of, I don't know if you ever heard the phrase, you can't see the wood for the trees. But basically, because you're in this world and you're spending so much time in it, and you're looking at all the detail, really commonly you'll have made mistakes in it. So the first thing I always suggest to do is to watch back the whole project and see if you can spot any mistakes before you press this export button. So I'm just going to play this together so you can see what I've produced and you'll have produced something similar or you've added your own creativity, but let me just watch back and I want to check I'm happy with everything. Hello, my name is Mr. Zorb and I would love to invite you to come and visit Mr. Zorb's most magnificent zoo. It may be small, but it is incredible. We have got Surf Do Taz, our turtle that just loves to surf. Mr. Fuzzy, our lovable and cuddly bear. He used to be an actor in a rather famous film. Madman Mo, a rather cheeky monkey. Don't let him get too close, he'll nick stuff off you. Susie Swiper, our baby leopard club. Careful, she's got sharp claws. And Dozy Dirt, you'll be lucky to see him awake. And finally, Frank. Now he looks super cute, but he's very very dangerous. So come and visit us. It's a fun-packed family adventure. www.zorbsmagnificentzoo.com Very good. Right, that's the end of my advert. Now there's a few things that I spotted in there that I wasn't too happy with. A couple of these titles, uh, there was a gap here. Uh, this, so I'm just going to tidy that up a little bit. Uh, there we go. Uh, and you can spend hours fine-tuning stuff like this. So I'm not going to spend too much long because uh, uh, you can do that on your own time. Um, that one was all right. This one had a little bit of a gap as well, didn't it? Um, anyway, assume that you've got the project in a place where you're super, super happy with it and you're now going to export. This program is dead easy. This little box of an arrow up here is how you export. So we click on export here. Um, don't worry about all these settings for the moment. We're going to click export. And what it's going to do is it's going to whiz through and it's exporting it now for you. And then once you've got it exported, you can send that via text message. You can stick it on YouTube or social media or wherever you want, whoever you want to show it to. You have now got it in an exported format to be able to show to people. Okay, so there it is, it's appeared up here. Uh, we've exported it now. And uh, on, on the iPad, it sends it to my photos thing. So if I click over here on photos, um, this last video in my photos album is the advert that I've just exported. So Hello. let's just have a listen to my it. My name is Mr. Zorb, and I would love to invite you. Here comes to the graphic come on top. Mr. Zorb. There we go. Most magnificent zoom. Uh, so there you can see you've got everything there. And from here, you can share it wherever you want. Now, if we go back to uh, KineMaster, you can also share it from here. So you can stick it on Facebook. I'm sure you can probably send it to YouTube. Um, I obviously don't have an Android device, but I'm sure you know how to share it from there. Um, so there we go. Now you've exported it. Now you've got it. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've created. Okay, so that is it for your class today. Thanks for being here. I hope you have learned some very cool things that you can put into practice. I'm really looking forward to your creations and your editing. And uh, just remember, this is a video. So if you need to, you can go back over and over and over and over and over as many times as you like to just get it in your mind how to do this kind of stuff. Really looking forward to seeing what you've got to create and I will see you soon.